Hello once again, knob jockeys. I know it has been a while, but here we are once more, ready to learn how to how to do things. I need to, I don't need to join a squad. So uh yeah, it has been a while. They're hard to make, they take time, I'm sorry, I'm doing my best. So um the last thing we did was light assets. Now I could show you APCs and then tanks and then and then choppers, but to be honest, APCs and tanks are just so simple. <laughs> there's there's really no point in me showing you. It's pretty basic. It's just like light assets, except you need to make a squad to use them. It's pretty. Uh, I, I, seeing as I'm kind of strapped for time most of the time, there's not really much point in me wasting time trying to do those. So instead, we're going to jump straight straight to the choppers, uh, specifically the trans choppers, because quite a few people actually asked for these anyway. So why not? Oh and before I forget, I did record a uh, a game with myself and a clanmate raid in um, in a Kiowa, just shooting some some insurgents up. But uh, you know, it was going to be one of the classic full games that I now upload because you tell me to. But uh, as usual, I got punk busted because punk busters a bitch in mid air, which is also a bitch. So uh, so. I mean, if you want me to upload that, then just say so, and I'll upload it. But it's not really that much of a game. I get about, I think, 15, maybe 20 kills in the Kyo, and then CTD. So if you want that, just type it up and I'll post it. But for now, I'm gonna probably not post it unless you tell me to. Anyway, to the choppers. So this is a helicopter. A helicopter whopper. Right, so the first thing you need to know is that this is a Huey. There are two basic choppers that you're gonna fly. There's the Huey and the Chinook, and I'm going to turn this down because it is loud as hell and I cannot think. Options. And audio. Effects. Apply. Ah, that's much better. So there are two basic choppers you're going to fly. You're going to fly the Huey and the Chinook. Those are the two most used choppers on most maps. And then some of the other ones for the op four forces like the cow and they're all ba they're all basically the same. So most trans choppers are the same. I'm gonna say the Huey is the easiest to fly and the most fun and the best to train with, so this is a Huey. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Those are also mine. Uh <laughs> so when you get into the chopper, the first thing you notice is this crazy hard now like what's going on. You only need to know two things. On the right, the bottom right number is your altitude, so that's twenty two. The altitude is in meters. 22 meters above sea level, uh, so keep that in mind. And the one on your left is your speed in kilometers. It doesn't really matter what the speed says because it doesn't really make much sense, but what does matter is uh, the speed when you're trying to land or when you're trying to drop people off, etc. So that's the first thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is that when you get into a chopper, you can't take off instantly. Your chopper has a warm up time of about 30 seconds before you can actually take off. You can either time that or you can wait until the sound of the chopper goes from like a start-up sound to a steady... like the sound you're hearing right now. It wants to sound like that constantly and then you can take off. So, that's that now. Controls. You have WASD. W is throttle. As you can see on the left, that little bar, the throttle's going up because I'm tapping the W. Uh, S is to reduce throttle and go downwards like that. You can see I'm kind of bouncing a bit. Uh, A is to swivel left, and D is to swivel right. Whoops. Whoops, don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's only A and D is to swivel left and right. Uh, you use the mouse to control your pitch and yaw, so that's basically where your nose is pointing. So either angle up or down, or whether you're swiveling your chopper to the left or the right. So to take off, you keep your chopper at a steady like in the center so this line goes across the middle like that and hold W and you're off congratulations so first thing you need to know is to turn you do this <laughs> it's I'm gonna tell you I probably should have said at the start it's very hard to explain how to fly a chopper honestly it just takes practice I can try and show you the basics and a few things are like how you should fly a chopper but to really learn how to fly a chopper you have to do it yourself you can't just watch this and then know how to fly but I'll try my best. So, going forwards, you hold W and put the nose at about this angle, 
to go forward slowly. If you want to go a bit faster, you could dip the nose like this. As you can see, my speed is considerably higher now. Uh, so to turn left or right, you turn your use your mouse to turn the chopper like this. I'm constantly holding down W, by the way. So you can do that and that, and then you can turn really fast like this. If you wanted to use the A and D keys to turn, which is stupid, but uh, you really have to get to a hover or not moving forwards or backwards, and then the A and the D works to turn. But as you can see, if I'm moving kind of fast, the A and the D has very little effect. I'm pressing them right now, not really doing much. So keep that in mind. Although whenever I'm turning left, I'll always hold A anyway. Whenever I'm turning right, I'll always hold D anyway, because it helps a tiny weeny little bit. Right, so that's flying. You, d you need to grasp that before you do anything else. Now, to hover, you uh, simply let go of the throttle and try and bring your uh, the, little, the little green line to a standing point like it is now, and you should be able to hover. If you keep an eye on the speed, you can work out if you're a hovering speed, there's zero. The perfect hover speed. I've done it! Yes! Uh, the second thing you probably want to know now that you're in the air is how to get out of the air and go downwards. There are two ways to go downwards. The first way is to use the S key. Now you think S is to go down, so you just hold S. This is what happens when you hold S. At a perfect hover, you'll go pretty much straight down like that. That's at a perfect hover, and it's unlikely that you're going to fly over to a position, perfectly hover, and then just hold S. So don't do that. For example, if I'm like this, and then I try to hold S, I'm just freaking, I don't know what's going on, but it's not good. You don't want to do that. Instead, you'd want to fly around like this, and if you're really not confident in the landings, then you just want to tap S. So I'm tapping S. Bring it down slowly. Just keep tapping S. Control the uh, the nose so it doesn't go up too much, and just tap S, and there, touchdown. But as you can see, that is slow as foo foo. I want to say, by the way, this is Mutra City. It's a very good map for training choppers on. So, you want to land quickly. Speed is everything in a chopper, especially a trans chopper. Speed is everything. So you want to land. Instead of going at some ridiculous altitude high up, you want to go like this. You want to be pretty low down flying around like this and say you wanted to land somewhere up ahead like by these trees you just touch it down and then just skid along the floor tapping S as you go to stop like that so that works on flat surfaces pretty well if you wanted to land on something bumpy you'd probably want to be a bit more careful you wouldn't want to skid that's for sure you'd want to bring it down nice and slow so just tap the S all the way and then just put it down like that use your mouse to control and don't do that and run away because I'm gonna explode. Oh no! And when you're when you're blinking red, uh oh, oh this is bad. Uh oh, uh oh, oh oh, oh landed. It. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. This is fine. So what I was going to say before that monumental cock up is that you don't particularly want to land on bumpy surfaces like uh, like that because 9 times out of 10, you're just going to flip the thing. Instead, what you want to do is hover above that place and then let the guys inside jump out. Uh, so, you know, to hover you need to obviously slow down to a speed of zero and then hold your chopper there at a low altitude so those guys can jump out. Uh, it works best over water, but obviously in like situations where you had to, I don't know, drop some guys in some like between some trees or something and then there was just like bumps everywhere you know hovering is a lot better than landing but again it's a judgment thing it's if you practice enough you'll you'll know where you can land and where you can't land basically i can't really give you any more information than that one thing i will say though is that uh you can what the f what are you doing so the Huey, like a lot of choppers, can land on steep, flat surfaces. This roof, for example, over here. Well, you think, how do you land on that? It's kind of it's fairly steep. Well, you want to put the chopper down and literally tap S until you're down like that. And then you can hold that forever. Oh, we just crashed. <laughs> that was embarrassing. So you want to hold S, or not hold S, but kind of tap S every now and then, keep your mouse kind of facing upwards like this, and you should be able to hold a landing on a uh, 
on a slanted roof like that. Uh, if you were to land on that sideways, then it probably wouldn't work. It might work on that. On this one, it definitely wouldn't work. So yeah, basically, if you want to land on something slanted, you want to poke your nose towards the direction of the slant as it goes upwards. Ooh. <laughs> again, practice. So, again, landing. If you want to land somewhere, especially on maps with lots of flat places like this, you want to tap the S and just bring her in, just like that. And just slide it down. And then take off and don't smash into things. It's really, it's that simple really is that simple. Landing on rooftops, again Mutra is a good one for this, landing on rooftops is again it's pretty much the same thing. So let's say a guy wanted me to drop him over here over here okay on this T-shape just here. Well you just bring it down same basic deal, tapping the S and touch down everybody gets out and off you go. Uh, I, I don't know what else I can say about that. That's basically all it is. Just balance the holding down your W with the tapping of the S the tapping of the S and then you should be able to uh, to land in most places pretty well uh, for dropping crates which is the other thing that choppers are incredibly useful for you've got to learn where the crates drop from each chopper so from this one I know the crates drop from the back right of this Huey now usually when you land a guy somewhere uh, or a squad somewhere you usually just drop crates so I wanted to land someone on the roof of this gas station and by gas station I mean the floor right here then um, I drop them off they'd all get out and then I just right click and the crate would drop right there that's most of the time that's what you do but if someone says that they want a roof uh, they want a roof then there's not much you can do but if they say that they want a crate on this T-shape. Well then, you just fly over to that T-shape, learn the maps, they, that helps. And you get it on the roof by landing on the roof and dropping the crate out the back right over there. I don't want to waste the crate though because I want to show you how you should drop crates. So that's the simple way, just landing and dropping a crate, making sure that there's space on the right so it lands on the roof or whatever. But the way that when you become a professional like me to drop crates is to um, fly by and drop them without even stopping moving because then you don't give away their position and you don't make yourself an easy target and blah blah blah. So you need to know that the crate for this for example drops out on the back right. You need to know the crate on a Chinook uh, drops right at the back off the ramp. So you're flying and you want to drop a crate on that roof that I have marked. So instead of stopping, you fly over it, something like this, and just right click as you go and drop it out the back. Now, if I was good enough, there, there it is, right there. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, you were flying at like 700, 800 kilometers an hour. I mean, that's crazy. That crate should have just either flown forward or exploded or caught fire or jumped somehow. No, okay. Here's how it works. When you drop a crate from a chopper, it falls straight downwards. It, it doesn't matter how fast you're flying, it will spawn in the air at zero kilometers an hour and just fall straight downwards from that point. Which means you can fly as fast as you like and drop the crates and it makes no difference because uh, they just fall at a standing point from th from the sky. What does make a difference is how high you are, because at a certain height, and I don't know what it is, but at a certain height, crates will explode. So this high, this is uh, 40, that's that's way too high. You want to be probably about here, it's probably still pretty high up. I reckon about here is good, you could probably stretch to maybe 20, 20 meters up and a crate would survive. But I recommend a little lower, like that. So all that really matters when you fly over here, when you fly over this T-shape, is that you uh, you drop at the right time and you're not too high up and uh, it should be fine. So that's crates and landing. There are several landing maneuvers like, like if you're like this, you can just tap S, that will bring you round to the direction you're going and then you can just bring yourself down into a spot like this which is a nice little landing maneuver. 
other than just flying straight forwards and then sliding along the ground. Another thing that is you'll need to know is uh, evasive maneuvers. Zero choppers, obviously AA is going to affect you. Now as you can see you have 60 flares. All trans choppers have 60 flares. So if I got an AA lock, what I'd do is pop flares to the left and then pop flares to the right like that and then fly away. Now the flares usually f they fly forwards the way you're flying so you want to pop them everywhere all around you and throw them away from yourself otherwise the like if I pop my flares and then just kind of kept on flying this way, the flares kind of go the direction I'm going, so chances are the AA, even if it hits a flare, is still going to damage me. You don't want to do that. Uh, the other way you can dodge AAs, uh, the professional, pr professional way, is uh, you get an AA lock and you just kind of barrel rolls and pop in flares and barrel rolls and just keep popping flares and then, you know, that usually, that works too. So... <laughs> It's your choice. Uh, anything else? Okay, diving. Diving is one other thing. I mean, you diving is reserved for cast choppers mainly. Well, you know, the reason you dive in a chopper is because uh, 900 meters up, that's out of AA range. So, a lot of choppers will fly to 900, 1000 meters, and then just dive on a target. Uh, and then the AA won't see them coming, they'll like blow the hell out of them and then get away and they won't even know I hit them, it's going to be so beautiful. Uh, and also about 600 meters you're usually out of range from the ground, so as in nobody can actually see you because you're above clouds and out of view distance, blah blah blah. So that's used for cast choppers, but you can do it for the Huey as well, and the cast Huey as well. A lot of people don't dive with these. What you could do, in theory, and I've done this before, is that you could fly to, let's say, we'll get to 600. You'll fly to 600. And then, you let's say you want to be dropped. Or well, these guys in your chopper, they want to be dropped behind enemy lines. Let's say they want it to be all the way back. Yeah, back there. Now you could fly there, just going low, and just dodging between buildings and stuff, but... But, you know, that's, that's a little dangerous, especially if they had AA. So instead, what you could do is fly over your marker like this until you can see it and then spin your chopper around like this and dive towards the marker using the S and the W to control where you're aiming and just hold W to, to lose your altitude as you can see I'm losing it then you can spin to orientate yourself and then you know if you wanted to shoot anything down there if you're a cast chopper then be my guest and then just use the S to bring you out and there we go and maybe no one would have saw you doing that. Slightly more spell. I know it's stealthy, it's safer. I'm going to say it's safer. If you pop flares while you drop down, that would help as well. And then you can just put them down. Beautiful. So, really there's not much else I can say, except you need to learn the maps, and you need to practice. I'm at a point where I can... Someone will tell me where they want to go, like give me a grid, like... Let's just look at that. They say I, they wanted to go to... B9 on a roof. I can just fly without a marker, use the map, work out roughly where I am, and think, well, it's down here somewhere, this this looks B9, we'll just we'll put them down right here. Then they can get out and then off we go. So, you know, it's basically practice makes perfect. It's all about the practice. So, other than that, I don't know what else I can say, except that you need to practice. So yeah, I recommend the Hueys in the Chinook. Uh, if you want any more advice, let me know. And if you want to do the cast, let me know.